Big Steve in the booth. Um, basically just wanting to have a chat. You live in Long Beach now. That's a new move for you. Yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been eventful. I've uh, I've enjoyed living out here, especially with Phil. He's a fucking G. So you live with Phil, in. bro. Yeah. He works at OSS. Yeah, yeah. I can't really ask for more. You know, the fucking dude is. He's pretty much on top of everything always. So stand up fella. I could still be a child, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're from Connecticut. Yes. You've been riding bikes. How long? You're what, 24? Yeah. 24, I've been riding. <clears throat> Fuck, honestly, I don't even remember. It's been like 20 years or something. <laughs> Long time. Um, so you're on a bike at age four. When did you... When did you, like, realize, like, riding bikes was, uh, you know, not just a form of transportation? Like, you were hyped. Oh, the second I hopped on one. I didn't hop on a bike for transportation. I hopped on a bike because I wanted to do some fucking tricks. Wanted to do fucking <laughs> hop three whips. I, wa- I wanted to look <laughs> badass, you know? Fucking <laughs> look tight in front of the little girls in the neighborhood. Hey! Honk my little horn, you know? How little are we talking? Look at me. Look at me. Uh, I suppose you were little then, so it was chill. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I, w- I was young once. Yeah. Well, 24 now, you're not really like the young kid you once were. Like, when you erupted, you were what? You were fucking... When did you get sponsored? I think I was 15 or 16. I don't know. It's been like nine years since I've been pro. Nine years since you've been pro? Wow. I never was on AM or anything. So who was your first sponsor? Uh, Volume. Volume. Volume, that's like... Volume and Demo. I think I got on DC. Which has like the same roof. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Was that yeah. at the same time they put you on Volume and then eventually you were on Demolition as well? Well, actually, I went on my first trip ever. With volume, I went to, uh, fuck, what was it? It was NorCal. It was, uh, I can't even fucking remember the name at the moment, but, uh, you know that Andrew Reynolds gap that he cake flipped? The uh, uh, Stay Gold, Andrew? Yeah. I, I did a truck down the bigger side, the biggest one there, but, yeah, like, literally after that, after I did it, I got a call and Brian put me on Demo Pro, so that was that was a big move for me. It was it was tight. All right, let's back it up a little bit, cause <laughs> before you were on Volume, and I could be wrong. I remember your Volume days. I was just uh, I didn't know you yet, so I was just looking on. But um, you had the skate park in Connecticut. Rockwell, yeah. Which was built, like, when? I mean, ten, you... Ten years ago. You were riding for, like, quite a while, though, and then they built it, and it was, like, the you, fucking only place you went, or what? I was... I had just turned 15, I believe, or some... Yeah, I was, like... I just turned, like, 15 or something, and they built the park. Early... Early high school years. Uh, only high school years. <laughs> Did you drop out of high school? Yeah, I dropped out my second freshman year. Okay, you know, okay. Bad news bears. I'm not gonna condone. Fuck, I mean, I'm not gonna condone I don't, anything, but I, I don't also I either. dropped out my sophomore year, so I, fuck I mean, I just honestly was so focused on riding, and I cared about just wanting to do the next trick so bad that I couldn't really focus on anything else, mm-hmm. and I I ended up just uh. Basically, rotting so hard every day after school that I'd be asleep in school. And it was... It wasn't really my cup of tea, I guess. Fair enough. Um, so the skate park gets built, and, like, is that the first kind of plaza that you had? Or, I mean, like, it that was, was it the, a pretty, that, it's a pretty elaborate skate park. Oh, it's it's amazing. I learned fucking everything there, basically, you know? like, And also, it was... It, it's not... It, 
it's not about just a skate park. It's you know the the, the friendship, the environment you, you get from being there, and you're there every day with all your fucking best friends. Mm-hmm. So like, we would have days where we would be like, all right, trick challenge. We're all gonna fucking ride this one setup in the park. And we're going to fucking try to learn something from each other. Like, everyone tries to learn a new trick that someone is good at, you know? And and that was super fun, you know? Like, it was a creative way to make everyone motivated. Make them... View riding in a different light, almost. Like, you know, I go to the skate park, I think, normally of, like, the same tricks I like to do. But when you're with others, you... You see what they like to do, and then just trying that and and trying to progress and move forward is it's it's good because you know everyone's helping everyone. You know, at the end of the day. Right, right. So. Well, when you're young, you're at a progressive stage and like riding. So like even doing even, the same thing yeah. every day isn't rewarding. You wanna you wanna no, learn something. No, you 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 start to feel stagnant. You just don't want to really do anything else and and when you have we had a, an amazing group of riders we had we had like 10 10 kids or something that rode that we were all like super tight you know and we all rode kind of different so like those those trick days where we would do that shit pretty much everyone in the group would learn something from one rider and then you know Another day, same thing, and just on and on, and it styles collide as you guys are. Yeah, well, evolving. it also just it just keeps it fun and new. Yeah. You know, I. And you guys also like it. you guys also like got along with the skaters and the scooters and stuff. That's like Badger's oh, dude, park, it, right? It's a family. Yeah. It's a family over there, dude. Scooters, skaters, fucking whoever, really, you know. Everyone loves everyone. We there all look never, after each other. Yeah, Every time any, there's a fight or something, we all fucking stand together. We're a little like we're a little fucking army, you know? Like hell yeah. That shit's so G. That skate park was where you did like your first video that kind of got noticed. Uh yeah, young buck little Stevie. I was I think I just turned 15 or 6 no, I just turned 16, I think. Like, two days after or something. And yeah, that was the day I did my first... No, it wasn't actually the first time I did a hop through it. Earlier that week, I think I had done a hop through it for the first time. So I was like, yo, fakey, let's fucking... Let's film an edit. And he was down. Fakey is a person? Fakey master, yeah. Ian McCumber. Love that motherfucker. I, <laughs> I used to actually live across the street from him with my brother AJ. I cut my hand down to the fucking muscle. Oh, right here. <laughs> that hand? <laughs> Wrong hand. Oh, yeah. Nice little... That's an odd it scar. flap of skin. I put my hand through a window fighting a uh, crackhead and my brother and my dad. At 15? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was a bit savage. Is what it is. So you say fakey filmed the video, mm-hmm. and uh, you were doing hop three whips. You're a fifteen year old just doing hop three whips at a plaza skate park. Like there was people that fucking hated that, and there was people that were blown away. Yeah, I feel like there was. I definitely got a uh, a lot of attention for that. Absolutely. That was my first, my first filming ever really, to go out on the internet and for anyone to see me ride. I shortly after actually got the call from Volume, and that's how I became pro. They were like, well, Maddie Long was on, and his older brother, Chris, Chris Long, helped out, and uh, I ended up getting on Volume, and that's the beginning of the uh, story with Volume and Demo. Really, yeah. you know, I right. was on there for a while, but uh, you know. And another. so you got this call, and you're immediately a pro rider. They had no, there was no trial. They, they sent me out. Actually, my first frame I ever got was actually a 
uh, Rob Wise prototype frame, but that it never got put out because he went on GT. Mm. So I still got that at the house, actually. It's two daggers on the fucking back triangle on the top. It's fucking sick. That's dope. You keep shit like that? You like, uh... No, my brothers do. I give my brothers everything. I give them my X Games medal. I give my mom some medals. Like, I don't ever keep it, but they they appreciate it, so why not, you know? So you're not so sentimental, but you feel like they... I've been called many things, but sentimental is not <laughs> they're, one of them. They're more yeah. into uh, <laughs> really. cherishing your achievements than you are, you'd say? Yeah, I mean, they're... They're my brothers. They're proud of me, you know. So like, how many brothers? I have three older brothers: Andrew, Patrick, and Jimmy. It's fucking Goodwill hunting over here. How many? <laughs> how many more? Six more brothers? No, I'm kidding. So, uh, they're all older. You said. Yeah, I'm the youngest. Okay. Um. So now you're sponsored, fifteen, because of a fucking web video. Um, yeah. No Instagram this time, right? Oh uh, no, Instagram wasn't out yet. That just goes to show how how old I am. How was it going I'm from? Uh, these bones. How was it going from like being a kid that goes to the skate park every day, having to, you know, pay for parts, and then you get stuff in the mail. <laughs> you know what it was. This it is was... the start of your of your brothers and them starting to realize that you were doing something. Yeah, you know what it was mostly is just uh, all my fucking brothers at the skate park, you know, my friends. Mm-hmm. Since I got free parts, everyone got free parts. <laughs> right. <laughs> I would literally. There was times that you'd see everyone at the skate park, and it pretty much all of their bikes were my my bikes. <laughs> the Stevie <laughs> Churchill sponsorship yeah, uh, foundation. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, I I would give everything out to them after, you know, like, it felt really good to give back and help the homies out, you know, like, it meant a lot to me because I obviously cared so much about them and, and to be able to fucking help give them parts when biking is so expensive, it, it was a big deal, you know. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, I get a question a lot. I get, uh, how many bikes do you have? Everybody gets that. It's the worst question, right? It is the worst. <laughs> it's funny because, you know, like, you always just have one bike. With the other ones, you know, you give your friends your old parts and shit. You hook them up. It's not like I have fucking ten bikes at home. I have my bike. At <laughs> right, home. one bike. One bike and sometimes scattered parts if they're not already given away. So it's, you know, it's fucking kind of funny that uh, everyone just thinks you have... Like, infinity. Yeah, exactly. They deck. think you just have bikes to just give away, Who but can in reality, house all you don't. That shit? Huh? <laughs> Who can house all that stuff? Unless you're Aaron Ross and you got the bikes, like, around your whole house. Well, you know, that just seems kind of greedy, in my opinion. <laughs> you could be giving that to, to homies that need it. True. I mean, a lot of the fit dudes, they ask for completes. They think they're going to get one every year, and Muller's like, doesn't work that way. <laughs> I still got to make money, asshole. Twelve guys for... <laughs> with signature bikes, man. <laughs> no, Muller's the G, though. He's... Oh, for sure. Uh, eventually, free bikes turns into, like, a flight and a paycheck. Or, like, a, well, I asked, a, were you pro right away? They just... Uh, yeah, I was never amateur. Volume just put you on pro. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was... I mean, I didn't I didn't really know how it worked or anything. It just kind of happened, and then... I just rolled with the punches, I guess, you know? And, it, and just, what, got on the first flight they booked for you, and you were on your Oh, way. it was Sacramento. We went to Sacramento. Is that the trip you were talking about? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, NorCal. It was at a college. That, that gap, it's... The reason the skaters don't do it on that side is because the concrete landing... Is it's all it's like broken up black tar and shit. It's jagged, so it's, like, it's rough. Landing that hard with skateboard wheels is definitely not something you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's why they do the other side where it's the smooth gray concrete. But yeah, the one I did was uh it was a 
12 flat 12 going up to it and then the gap was longer so I was pedaling as fast as I could and I literally broke pretty much everyone's back wheel trying it everyone I made tries it took me I jumped down it five times I I jumped it broke my back wheel straight bunny up yeah like Kevin Robinson back in the day <laughs> No, no. Yeah, it was, was it Kevin or Chad? I don't fucking know. Nor do I really fucking care. Jump the gap? <laughs> yeah. He had a chest protector on, a full face. I had jean shorts and a jersey. <laughs> Whoa, sorry. <laughs> Somebody jumped this in that day? It's a gnarly gap to flat, a 12 flat 12. It's you're talking. insanity. And I don't so blame him for putting on the... It? I don't think they really hopped. They kind of just right, pedaled right, their right. ass off and... They went for it. Whoop! <laughs> no, they did it. They did it. Oh, they landed. I'm pretty sure it was Chad Kagey. Yeah, it sounds less like a Kevin Robinson. Yeah, Chad Kagey. It was definitely a uh, Chad Kagey. He, uh, he had, yeah, a fucking straight on, straight up dirt bike chest protector on, a full face helmet, and he fucking just launched it. That is fucking gully, <laughs> too. Yeah, I was, I was wearing, uh, Yukon Huskies jersey and jean shorts and Vans Authentics. And I jumped it. Then I threed it. I did the three pretty good. And then I trucked it three times. Jeez. And, and none of them worked. No, it it worked. I, I feel like there was some... Uh, I was just new on the team. I don't think anyone wanted me to have an ender. Get lost. No, I'm, I'm. Did you land it? I slipped my foot, but it didn't hit the ground. But yeah, I, I still, I wouldn't count it nowadays. But oh, so the three, was... the three, I did land. Legit. So there was speculation between. Yeah, 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 no doubt. There was definitely speculation, but. Um, so now uh, the three I did legitimate. So and the, it was. And the three did that get used? No, that's never seen the light of day. Oh, I so had a poster that, doing the truck. So did that also? Oh, they put a poster out of the truck. Yeah. And who was the, who um, shot the photo? Oh, fuck. Not to put them on blast, but Cobbs. Cobbs. <laughs> yeah, fair game. yeah, I think it was Cobbs. He. Nah, he's a G. Yeah. He, uh, nah, yeah. That's not on him. It was he so long ago. It. That's legit. But it was just uh, who was filming it? The only angle I've ever seen was Maddie Long's. Because he was on the trip and he filmed it with his iPhone. Oh, wow. Okay, and so this. The actual footage, never gonna see the light of day. It was definitely the biggest truck ever done. But. Well, no, this is uh, No one cared about me at all at the time, so fuck it, right? <laughs> wow. What's it matter? So you slipped a pedal and you. you I you broke, this? I broke, I broke like five rims that day. Everyone, every time I jumped it, I pretty much destroyed a wheel, and I was just taking oh, so you, you the I was taking it? the back wheels off of everyone's bike that day. You jumped it, you threed it, and then you trucked it three times. Yeah, and you destroyed a wheel every time. Pretty much. And so these people, <laughs> so the people whose wheels you're breaking. Oh well, fuck! They um, ride. They ride. They run for demolition. They, of course, they get free wheels. Oh, fuck it. absolutely. Um, you're at a spot. You, you know when you're at a spot, you gotta help the homie out. Right. Yeah. Take a part off my bike. We'll get it. We'll get a new one. Whenever you know. So you're um. This is pre like Mastroni, volume filming, right? Oh yeah. Mastroni's not no, there. No, no. This is this is when I was uh. About to be seventeen. Seven. Yeah, Christian Regal filmed it. Okay. He would be more likely to... Not give me a clip. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, press the judgment on a foot slip, if no, you will. No, honestly, I, I would have used the three. Right, right. But to not use any of it is... Well, that's interesting. I had no idea any of Kind of, of uh... I mean, I was shaking like a faggot at a weenie roast. So, I mean, I would have liked to use a clip. <laughs> you can't even get a throwback Thursday. You need to maybe reach out and find that. Uh, I'll talk to Maddie. He's got the clip. 
fucking 24 cell phones ago. Yeah, right. <laughs> pretty sure he still has it. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he still has it. He saves it on all of his new phones. Oh, yeah? Whatever, honestly. Let's, we carry on from there. Um, you had some volume edits from there, though, with, like, Chris Long. Oh, I love Chris. Chris is the man. This is, like, like he's, I said, he's before, one of my favorites. before Mike Mastroni was the filmer for volume. No, I remember. Um, I remember that day and age. Yeah, you were, like, chrome by volume Stevie, three whip and fucking everything. Yeah, uh... I I like filming with uh, people that I can really kind of like have a conversation with someone that I trust. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sometimes filming with with random people is difficult because there's not that like bond there. Like you, you don't know if they even care if you get it or not. But like filming with some people is like you're both in it together. Like, they're gonna sit there for fucking three hours while you try this, and every time just hoping for the best, you know? And with Chris, uh, he, he's like my brother, so it, it's easy to film with someone that you, you're like brothers with, you know? But otherwise, it's just kinda like, why am I fucking even doing this? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I just... You get so frustrated, you just want to stop. And without someone that you truly feel like cares, it you kind of just are like, fuck it. I'll just stop trying instead of push past it and fucking make it happen. So, I mean, fuck. I mean, there, there's been countless times I've been filming with Hicks. And I'm like, fuck this. I'm throwing my bike. I'm losing my mind. And he's just like, yo, come on, Steve. You got this. And I'm like, fuck. Because cause you gave up on yourself. Mm-hmm. But you feel bad to give up on the filmer. Because they put in the same amount of time. Truth. So you're like, fuck it. I can't let him down. I got to fucking do it. And then... Pretty much every time you'll sit there and get it, but if it's just too far out of reach, sometimes you know you need to know when to throw in the towel, you know. Yeah, or the vibes just not uh, not there. Uh, some, sometimes it's just not, yeah, it's just not there. Um. So at what point, like uh, you know, Chris Long, Adam, and those guys moved to California, and you kind of started to frequent it more. Would you say, or, um, you know, eventually you moved here. So when do you think, like, the transition was, um, you know, you got kicked off volume, or you left volume, sorry. Um, uh, and then... Well, well, the thing is, is, uh, Federal had offered me a lot more money. Mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, we're, we want to do trips and stuff, you know. I was like, yeah, I want, I want to travel. I'm super young at this point, you know. I've been on federal for fucking years. And uh, I talked to my best friend. Well, one of my best friends. I got one right here. His name's Brandon Began. Oh, Brandon. I love him. But, uh, yeah, I was like, yo, Jeff, what should I do? Should I quit volume and ride for federal? This is Jeff he, Martin. Yeah, Jeff Martin. Shark Shark Martin on Instagram. Uh, he was like, "Yeah, I think it's a better fit for you." I was like, "All right, yeah, I'll get, I'll go on." So I quit volume, started riding for Federal, and uh, actually, literally right after I started riding for Federal, I went straight to Detour. I remember that. I don't remember how I did. <laughs> Hopefully it was good. Is that like the biggest contest you'd ever entered? Uh no, I've I've ridden X Games a few times. Prior to Do Tour. Yeah, I rode X Games before that. Oh, so you did X Games while you were with Volume. Uh yes, I did. I think maybe two X Games while I was with Volume. Dang. And been young. and two Do Tours with Volume, and then I uh, got on Federal, and I. Did a, my first two tour, 
And yeah, I'm pretty sure I did next games that year too. But uh Did you ever get a do you ever place? Do I ever place? Like what do you mean? Did you ever place like third? Top, top three in X Games? Uh one time. I got third place in X Games in Barcelona, twenty eighteen. Wow. Wait, no. One of the medals. No, not 2018. 2016. 2018, did he say? 2015. But then one went over my head. 2015, fuck. I honestly can't count. The name's Steve. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. You can count man. That's dope, though. So you have, a goal, you have a medal, an X Games medal, which you mentioned you gave to one of your brothers. I gave that to my dad. Oh, tight. Because my dad won't let my brothers touch it. <laughs> well he won't he honestly he hides it in his room cause every time they get drunk they'll fucking try to flaunt it and I guarantee they'd lose it so amazing <laughs> I love them to death don't get me wrong but you know they're definitely not uh very capable of tr- keeping track of something that important uh, it's funny the, around the time that you were on federal Got on Federal is around the time we met. And I don't know if where you were living. No, no, we met way before that. Well, we probably met, but I didn't really... We met at that Chad, Chad Curley Invitational. That's where oh, we first met. Let's talk about that. That was That's a good time. That was a good contest. You killed it at that. That was a good time. Sean Sexton gave me his front wheel so I could do the seven over the rail. That was... I was uh honestly I like that contest a lot because it wasn't it wasn't run based, it was based off of just uh, obstacles you know like one or two obstacles mm-hmm. you do one trick and then another mm-hmm. whoever had the sickest shit this wins was, that uh, section then there's another section and another section right right and that that I loved I loved that a lot because I won I won like four trophies that day I got first. On the rail hop at the end, I uh, got second and third on the other two. And then uh, I gave them to my mom, and they got destroyed in her garage. <laughs> my dad was pissed, but I was like, ah, fuck it. They were fucking... They were pretty dumb. A, sim- a, simple, a symbol of literally something so stupid. Like, I don't... I don't need a fucking trophy for a gratification for what I did. I have I was pretty fucking hyped on just how I rode. And fuck, it was honestly fun. It was the funnest contest I had rode at that point because every other contest was runs. You, you right. got 40 seconds and I hope you were fucking running on that treadmill all month because your lungs are about to fucking pop. Well, this was definitely the, uh, <laughs> it was definitely the first of its kind for our culture, like, it had started in skateboarding, but this was the Chad Curley Invitational uh, at the bakery, yeah. which was, in other words, Brian Kaczynski's yeah, take yeah. On, a, on a barracks concept. That park is... We had a, you know, a exclusive indoor training facility for pros only. And Chad Curley threw a contest and invited a bunch of people. It was in Chicago. Actually, hence why I hit him up and was like, "Why aren't I in this thing?" <laughs> <laughs> so I got in, and that's why I was there. And I was fucking selling weed to everybody that weekend. No, nah, you were fucking making that money, dude. Drew York, yeah, gotta do. Um, had a room with you. Why or I don't know, but you I guys don't were think linked. Drew York had a room. Uh, some there was something close about it where that's why we were hanging out. That's why I met you, and you're right. It was the first weekend. Stevie, I needed don't... someone to buy him beer so he could stay in and drink an eighteen pack while we went out to the bars. Kids, <laughs> don't don't you follow maybe, by my lead. You remember eighteen, nineteen? <laughs> I was uh yeah, I was an idiot. Uh, but it was funny. But oh, fuck. I mean, we who, who isn't an idiot that wants to jump off a roof for a living? You gotta have something fucked up in your head. You're a fucking nutty asshole. Well, another idiot was myself and Drew York who bought you said beer and then just left you to drink alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember one X Games. But then we uh, came Chris, back. 
Chris Long was in charge of me. Yeah, I needed a nanny. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Well, he, he, last... leave, he leaves the house. I had some liquor. I woke up in the bathroom sink butt naked. My ass is in it, and I'm laying on the table. Chris comes in. What the fuck, Stevie? You got a ride in like two hours. It's like yeah. some flight shit. I was like 18. Denzel before a fucking hero. I was 18. I had to <laughs> ride for X Games the first time ever, and I was... Drunk, butt naked, with my ass in a sink. This happened on Young and Retarded. I have footage of you butt ass naked in my shower in Arizona. This has happened more than once that I would like to. On his ass, Bat- with Bat- a beard. Bathtub, Steve. I'd Bat- like to move past Steve. Bathtub, Bat- 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 Steve. Oh, God. Bathtub, Bat- 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 Yeah, he, he picks me up, I get dressed. Yeah, Chris picked my naked ass up. <laughs> Gay? <laughs> Gay? <laughs> no, nah, you fucking... I get to the course. Everyone's doing tricks in the back, you know? They're doing bar spins, crank flips, fucking trucks, whatever. And uh, I go to step on my bike, and I fall over. And I'm like, I can't ride. This is X Games. <laughs> yeah, my first X Games. First? Yeah, and I ended up, I tried to bar spin, missed both hands in the back, fell on my ass so hard, destroyed my back, my neck was killing me, and Stu Johnson comes up and he goes, Stevie, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why the fuck are you this drunk right now? I was like, I don't know. Uh, He gave me peanuts and he went and got me a banana. So I ate those skills. And then I got on the course and my adrenaline started pumping. Completely sobered me up. I was like, all right, I'm a 360 bar off of this roof. First trick. Fuck with me. Doubt it. <laughs> that was Literally. Like the year with like the container and shit where it was like the No, lockers. it was over the, the school one. Remember with the lockers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was, oh, it was up that platform to the steps or whatever? No, it was to flat. And then right. the, I went over, over the, the steps, like down? No, um, there were no steps. There, right. there were, there, were uh, there was a gap. I'm on acid. Middle rail. Yeah, maybe. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> I did a truck off of this roof to flat and my bars go, kink! Straight Dan Crook. And I'm like, fuck. That was the first trick in my life. <laughs> and you're wrong. I better fucking send it and not give a fuck. So I did. I My bars were up here and I fucking sued over this chain into a bank. And I did wall ride one bar. Fucking, I, I did a bunch of shit that I really fucking care about. But uh, I did well. And then I fixed my bars and then I, you know, it's... The thing about contests is they're, they're just so fucking nerve-wracking. Like, everyone, even Garrett, gets nervous. You know, like, you feel that. You feel your blood just pumping through your veins right before it. They call your name, and you're, like, literally fucking, like, sweating, just bummed as fuck that you just got to put everything on the line that second. Well, it's like the better you do, the better you're like expected to perform. Well, that's the thing. Everyone thinks I'm I'm actually good at this stuff, but it's a it's the biggest con- conspiracy in America. Honestly, I fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's false from any outside perspective. No, uh, it, it's just scary to fucking do the shit. You like. Oh, okay, you want me to ride for 40 seconds? I can't do anything for 40 seconds. I can't even pay attention for 40 seconds. You well, fucking with me? So, done well so far for 36 minutes. Well, that's because I'm talking to my friend. Hey. But, you know, uh, you always end up coming through clutch. Fucking, I, I get it done, and... Then I throw up off stage and smoke a pack of cigarettes. And... <laughs> <laughs> um, so speaking of, uh, I believe we started to trail off around. Um, 
Young and Retarded, which was, um, I believe, around the federal switch, because I gave footage from Young and Retarded to Charlie for, like, a federal edit, like, your first one. They were just live yeah, stuff. I think it might have been. It was for the OSS edit. Oh, it was for OSS one. The OSS edit to the Gucci song that fucking pop. Fuck, you're absolutely right. Big goo up. That edit fucking slapped. This guy knows more about me than I do. Check yeah, Brian, do you want yeah, to sit in? Go ahead and chuck yeah. it in there. Really like, come hop in here. Nice, <laughs> So he's he's usually bro. around. For yeah. the, I, could, I could talk. I remember some things you probably... Um, <laughs> the big goo op section was fucking dope. Mastroni filmed that. Um, so that's funny. Now you're on Federal, but you're filming with Mastroni, the new volume filmer. No, nah, that whole section was when he was on volume, but right when it was about to drop, there was no B-roll oh, for it, and was... so it was all Federal B-roll, but volume bikes in the whole park. I was, was gonna, I was gonna ask him... What video that was? Yeah, that was the. <laughs> and yeah, then that was the it just dawned on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OSS video because so the whole video. Was, yeah. So he was on. So he got on federal yeah. before Young and Retarded. Yeah, because he was on federal after Young and Retarded. Right. Yeah. That was his right first on, federal yeah. bike. I think it's like the black one, and you had like. It was flat black. Yeah. No, that was my second one because I had a. Sea foam green lacy oh, yeah, frame mm. for the first one. That was yeah, that was when I rode Dutro. I literally got that bike like a week before. Okay. Flashy new sponsor, Steve. Oh, God. Yeah. With the color, and then you're like, fuck this. You know how Steve got to do it big, baby girl? Okay, so... uh, (laughs) Young and retarded. Now we're getting back on track to when... I mean, we met at the Chad Curley Invitational. Chicago, cold as fucking But then when you came on Young and retarded, that's when we, like, officially, like... We hung out for more than a day. Going on a trip with someone's way different. Gully house. Well, also staying at gully your house. house the was, gully uh, house is a big thing, you oh know. Like you, you let us all come in and fucking be savage idiots. Nice house, yeah. pool, ghost. What else could you want? I, well, I can't swim, so I didn't touch a toe to that water. But yeah, I, I fucked around <laughs> with the ghost of shafts. Let's talk about that. <laughs> ghost of shafts has been haunting me for years. <laughs> I still see that motherfucker. He looks at me and he just laughs. He's like, you're still <laughs> shit. You never catch me. <laughs> you gotta break the curse. You gotta break the curse. You gotta uh, unshab for a day. Maybe one day. Who the fuck um, knows? Probably not. Yeah, so Young and Retarded was a the come up, like, first trip, like, I don't know, they did, like, mega tour and stuff, but then they did, Yeah, it was, like, the the TCU trip where they, like, tried to, like, have a team. First team TCU trip, uh, come to the Gully House in Arizona. uh, You, Dylan Lloyd, Dylan, uh, Dylan Stark. Me, Dylan, uh, uh, Stark, Adam, uh... Lazy. Oh, he fucked... Lazy! Brock Rayford. Yeah. Lazy fucked, uh, Hooters girl. He did? And she... Maybe I shouldn't talk about it on film. Because. Uh, yeah. Because what? Let's... You fucked her too, or? No, God, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you think Steve's blowing chicks? Doubt it. Right. <laughs> Average dick, Steve. I'm a fucking fat slob, dude. <laughs> Washed up as fuck from life. We got fucking pretty lit. Westcott and uh, Josh. Westcott, J.E. We had. Uh, Quite a crew so in the good. house. Me and Jay were the we were a Sig Patrol. We were just out smoking. That's how you got on the Gully regular. Factory. It's literally how you got on the Gully Factory. Really? Like, yeah. Jay E's just like, dude, I like Stevie. We should put him on the Gully. And like, OSS was like a thing, but like you were there was like no team. Kind of like how the TCU just got a team. And I was like, dude, let's put go uh, Stevie on the Gull. And Jay E just like confirmed because. You guys were habitual nicotine addicts. <laughs> oh, we love each other. I haven't seen him in a long time, but I do miss him. The convos going on there and the cigs were what bonded you? Uh, yeah, uh, maybe, the, maybe the liquor and did the a little shabber, sign The shabber. Uh, the, uh, the lean, the lean I did the first time ever <laughs> might have, might have helped. That's right. Leezy was like adamant about getting lean as soon as he came to we, America. We were watching uh, Rush Hour 2 when I got my first tunnel vision from lean. I was like, Chris Tucker, 
what the fuck? I need to go lay down somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Is this when the ghost of Shabs pops in? Yeah, the ghost of Shabs pops in, and uh, I'm literally fucking, like, paralyzed. Just The room is dark, but the hall outside, the whole living room and shit was still lit, so I see this little light un- under the door, you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm laying face down, just looking at the light, but paralyzed as fuck. And I see the ghost of Shabs. And then finally, <laughs> a couple hours go by... I'm able to get up, and I almost crawled into bed with Adam. But I was like, nah, that's kind of gay. So I didn't. (laughs) Just stuck it out. I was just like, I'll just let this motherfucker fucking stomp my skull, and I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, but for real? Dylan Lloyd saw the Ghost of Shabs that week, too. Bro, the Ghost of Shabs is real as fuck, for sure. 100 it was always, like, speculated if it was, like, fucking hype between J.E. because he was always shabbed or if anybody who was just shabbed believed said hype and, like, got got spooked and then it was, like, created this what mystical hype. What hype? I've seen this, man. <laughs> <laughs> there was no hype. It, You're that not shit alone. was real as You're fuck. You're not they alone. Scared me so bad I almost crapped my pants a second time that night, dude. Fuck. That was a good time. It was fun, for sure. Yeah, that's, I, uh, that's when we truly became friends. And then I started to see you and Cali a whole bunch. Uh, well, you know, as, as riders, no one's really ever that far apart. Well, like, that, that blends into uh, today, as I know you, which is Strong Dick Steve. Well, average Dick Steve, but all right, yeah. Slash NASCAR Steve. Slash, there's a lot of fucking Steves. Um, I, almost, <laughs> I almost forgot, we didn't do a... Uh, no. We didn't do the traditional shots this show. Well, that's fucking... Because you're drinking water. Oh, yeah, I got uh, Fireball Water of Cinnamon Flavored Water. <laughs> it's good for the heart and soul. <laughs> and you got a, the jewel there, which I have you, you're ready to juice up back here. I... Honestly, I think I just forgot an extra pod, so I might be fucked in general. Oh man, I plugged in Steve. I got his jewel charger back here as a special request. Um, there she is. She's still on. We also do a, a thing, which is starting with where we have the guests bring something like a souvenir. Oh, I got something special for you guys today. I call this the blues bag. Kind of like a show and tell. It's my. Uh, Did you say the blues bag? The booze bag. The booze bag. This is my R2-D2 sweetheart. I bring her everywhere. Is that dead? Oh, there she goes. I thought the battery died, and I really thought that would be a huge letdown. (laughs) Devastating. I almost just wanted to hide behind it. Try to flex the bag. She just dies on you. Uh, You know, it's kind of a shitty bag, because... The whole inside just ripped apart. I carry too much at one time. And I got a brush. You brush your hair with that? Yeah, I brush my hair with that. That's pretty gully. My pubic hair. Yeah, <laughs> you want some? Get that shit out of here. No, I had to borrow Brun's uh, shaver to even shave my face so I didn't look the white trash. Vegan definitely shaves his pubes with that thing. Also, shout out Weed Maps. Thanks for all the weed I don't get. (laughs) Respect. You need to start giving that weed to me. You want it, tell Brandon. Give me a pen. Are you about to ignite the night? I'm about to That's what it says right here, is you you Mm -hmm. ignite the night. Bro, remember, it's water. That is water. I imagine this is what your fucking piss looks like after a night of this stuff. (laughs) Honestly, it's actually green. (laughs) Mm. You know what's funny? Uh, It's it's super... It's super brown. Not sure if you've heard uh, Tales of Joey Bags. I have. He's a... I said I have. When when I was growing up... When I was growing up... (laughs) In Illinois... 
the only fireball you could find was in like the shooters, like the in-flight bottles. And we would just find them in like this bin at the liquor store and like, you know, buy them with a swisher or whatever. You go there for a swisher, end up getting one of those if they didn't card you. And we would just fucking put them in our mouth and 12 o'clock those things and just fucking take them down because it's candy, right? So eventually we're going in there and we're like, yo, we want a bottle of Fireball. And the guy's like, they don't make them. They don't fucking make them. I'm telling you. When were you born? Like, <laughs> before you could jizz. Um, <laughs> problem. So, really... so we were fucking... I just learned how to jizz <laughs> at 22. I'm 20, 24 now. We were buying these things, I'm telling you, before Fireball was like such a fucking privilege. It was not easy to find. And then, like, three years later, I mean, it was, like, fits, pints, name it. Every fucking you're girl with a set of tits was chugging that shit on the weekend. You're telling me this is a privilege to you? <laughs> not anymore, because I this was This is chugging. a goddamn downfall. <laughs> I was chugging the shooters, like I told you. I'm far over it. You know who loves Fireball, too, though, is uh, DeGroote. I don't give a fuck who loves it. I just don't want to love it, but I do so much. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> fuck. That's why we put the water <laughs> sticker on there. If We're saving you uh, some endorsement uh, scandal. Hi, Cam. <laughs> Hi, Camera Lens. You're here, too. <laughs> Didn't see you. Oh, strong dick Steve. Average dick Steve. Yeah, there you go. Um, now you nailed her. Dee stick. Well, you want to let the hair down? Okay. Yeah, drop it. Drop. Toilet. I'm going to drop it like it's Toilet. hair. Toilet. Honestly, I don't think I could physically do it. Do it. It's you got nice. another hair tie in the wrist, too. You're ready for it all. Hit a quick headbang. Try not to <laughs> knock yourself unconscious. That'd be <laughs> terrific. <laughs> Skills. Do All I right. look... <laughs> Brunden, do oh. I look pretty? Tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> Multiple look Steve. Thank you. Multiple look Steve. Multiple well, guys. thanks for coming by, dude. Honestly, I don't want this to be over. I want to... I want to let them know my whole name. <laughs> well, we're only at 50. Actually, I thought we'd be at a, an hour now. I looked at it a little bit ago. Oh, fuck. You got you any want to more bust? questions? I got no more questions. What do you want to talk about? What do I want to talk about? You know what is in the works on a serious note is uh, I'm working on a federal part right now. So you guys will see some footage from fat old Grandpa Steve soon. Fire. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be fucking shit. (laughs) Bitch! When you let the hair down and then you put the hat on, does it just bring it all together? Savage no, it's just basically fucking muffling the sound, but all right. Thanks for coming. I love you, Tom. Absolutely, man. You're going to come back, right? You're going to come back? Always. No, you do that at the end. Yeah, I leave for a little, then I come back. Then I leave for a little, then I come back, and it makes people want Where are you shit. going? Where are you going next? <laughs> where are you going next? Do you think this is going to be good? Oh, yeah. This is fire. <laughs> you sure? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I love you. I love you. That was sick. I had fun.